Harris's campaign co-chair, Cedric Richmond, told the audience gathered at what was planned to be the Democratic nominee's election night party at Howard University that Harris would not speak on Tuesday night, but that the campaign was not giving up the fight against Trump. We still have votes to count. We still have states that have not been called yet. We will continue overnight to fight to make sure that every vote is counted, that every voice has spoken," said Richmond. So you won't hear from the vice president tonight but you will hear from her tomorrow. Richmond said Harris would return to Howard not only to address her supporters but to address the nation. The event, which began as a jubilant celebration of Harris and the prospect of a new presidency, began to sour as the Democrats' path to victory narrowed. Good evening, Howard. Good evening, HU. I want to say good evening to all of the Harris campaign, the campaign family. Thank you for all that you have done. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being believing in the promise of America. We still have votes to count. We still have states that have not been called yet. We will continue overnight to fight to make sure that every vote is counted, that every voice has spoken. So you won't hear from the vice president tonight, but you will hear from her tomorrow. She will be back here tomorrow to address not only the HU family, not only to address our supporters, but to address the nation. So thank you. We believe in you. May God bless you. May God keep you. And go HU and go Harris. Thank you all. Voters in Atlanta headed to the polls Tuesday to cast their ballots for the next president of the United States. Beyond the presidential race, Georgia's most competitive elections this year are in a handful of the state's 180 state house districts. Democrats are trying to reduce the Republicans' current 102 to 78 majority in the lower chamber of the General Assembly. The hardest fought districts include six stretching across northern Atlanta suburbs in Fulton and Gwinnett counties. Each party is trying to wrest away three districts held by the other. Democrats have campaigned on overturning Georgia's current abortion restrictions, doing more to limit guns, and expanding the Medicaid program to more low-income adults. Republicans have touted their support for low taxes, police and school vouchers. Well, I think he's a better candidate. I don't, I did, if I'm going to a lawyer or a doctor or a physician for assistance, the last thing I care about is their personality, their religion, or their attitude. I need brain surgery, I want a good brain surgeon. I need a lawyer, I'm going to court, I want the best one I can get. Well, I'm supporting Kamala Harris. And 
uh, what brought me to the poll today is I think my vote counts, and I cannot allow that man to get into office. It I want a more independent candidate, and the reason being is because I think that there's too much control in the government, and I would rather have a more independent that gives more freedom. She presented all of her answers to my questions in life and in country, and she's a, she was a very good vice president. You're right, yeah, it was just one of those like weird, yeah, y'all have, y'all both live on Fifth Street. And the fact that Joe Biden chose her to be vice president is good enough for me. Here and the other, and, and it's, yeah, and I'm like, listen, I'm sorry.